In this video, I'm going to be making Bertrick's Seasonal Feeding System, and I'm using one of the recipes from the book. They have different recipes for different seasons, obviously, and it's nice because you can buy whatever vegetables that are in season, or you can grow them yourself. And it also includes sprouts, so I will show you the sprouts that I grew um, toward the end of the video. And I just wanted to talk about why it's important to make chop and it's better and healthier than having your bird on an all seed diet. There's many reasons why you should never be feeding your bird just seeds and I'll go through that in this video. Suki would be proud. First of all, it's very common for people to think that you just feed your birds what they give you at the pet store and it's no one's fault. This is the way that it's set up for you to leave and there's really no more advice. It's just kind of like, here's your bird, here's your stuff, go home, have fun kind of uh, way that they have it. And this is just so they can get birds out quicker and make more money. So the first reason you want to be feeding your bird chop instead of just an all-seed diet is because it can lead to many uh, health issues if they're just eating all seeds and they can become very overweight. If you think about birds in the wild, that isn't really how God created it. They're not just sitting in a cage for hours eating a buffet. <laughs> they're all eating lots of different things and they spend most of their time flying every day looking for food. The second reason you don't want to be feeding your bird just seeds is because it interferes with training. It makes it very hard to create a relationship of bonding and taming if you're trying to tame your bird. And it makes it harder to um, teach tricks if you're trying to train your bird or teach them anything at all. Because they're going to be full, they're going to be happy, and most of the time the seeds that come in from the pet store have sunflower seeds and the kinds of seeds that you would use as treats while training. Now, of course, I'm not saying you want to starve your bird when you're going to be training them. What this just means is birds do um, things for certain reasons. Food, water, shelter, and pleasure. So if they have all the seeds that they want and they don't really want to interact with you and then you come along with a tree, they already have all those things, food, water, and shelter, and they don't really want to interact with you. So instead of them having seeds around the clock, we're making the treat value go up by having them a balanced diet of chop, pellets, and seeds. So when you offer them seeds, they're going to want to interact with you and work for those seeds or treats. It's also extremely important that you have a scale and you're weighing your bird if you're doing any kind of diet conversion or transition because they will hold out for food if they don't want to eat the food that you're offering them. So some birds will starve themselves if you don't give them the food that they want. So it's really important to have a scale so you can make sure that they're eating. In this video, this is the first time that my birds have tried the seasonal feeding system and I just wanted to capture this on camera. And You can see Kaya's just exploring new textures and trying to figure out what these sprouts are. <laughs> she just looks so cute. So um, this was their first time eating it and some birds will take to it right away and will eat it and some birds aren't th that big of a fan of it. So here's one way that I entice my birds to uh, try the seasonal feeding system. So I started the next day by um, beating an egg and I just decided to mix in some of the seasonal feeding system with their chop and I cooked it like that and offered it to them. And Kaya went crazy for the egg. She loves eggs. I knew that she already liked egg, so that's why I offered it to her. And the budgies, the first day, they were kind of like, what the heck is this? They weren't that big of a fan of it, but after a day or two they took to it and they really enjoyed it too. Now of course you don't want to be feeding your birds eggs every day for every meal so this is something that I tried and I'm going to have to phase out over time until they're eating just the seasonal feeding system itself with nothing added to it hopefully. 